Hi, I'm Doc Willoughby. I'm the executive editor of Gourmet Magazine, and this is Gourmet Today. This is our new cookbook, which we just published after five years of working on it. It has over a thousand recipes for the way we eat today. One of the big chapters in here is drinks, because cocktails have made a huge comeback in the United States over the past few years. And also, there are a lot of new non-alcoholic drinks. One of the most popular is masala chai, spiced milk tea, which you can get in coffee shops all over the United States. But like most things, it's actually better when you make it at home. The first spice that we're going to use in our spice mixture is cardamom. Now, cardamom is a wonderful spice. It's very aromatic and floral, and it's got a very lemony, fruity taste. It used to be hard to find and very exotic. Now you can find it in any supermarket, and it comes in three forms. It comes in the pod form, and so you have to get the little seeds out of the pod. That's probably the most authentic way to use it, but it's a little bit too much work for me. So you can also get it in seed form. Someone has already taken the seeds out of the pod for you. That, I think, is the best. You can also get it ground, but like pepper, when it's pre-ground, it loses all of its volatile oil, so it only has about half the amount of flavor. So probably not best to buy it pre-ground, but I would go for the seeds already extracted from the pod. The other spices we use are a cinnamon stick, about an inch and a half long. Then we're going to use a few peppercorns and then some fennel seeds, which gives it the sort of base note for the spices. Okay, we're just going to put the spices in the grinder, the cardamom, and then a combination of cinnamon, white peppercorns, and fennel. You can also do it in a mortar and pestle. Grind it up. And that's our spice mixture. I've got two cups of milk here, which we brought just to a simmer. We had three and a half tablespoons brown sugar, quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, and the spice mixture that we just ground up, and just an eighth a teaspoon of salt. Whisk those all together, and then we're going to just let this simmer for three minutes. In the meantime, we have two cups of water. Once the water comes just to a boil, we're going to add five teaspoons of loose black tea, using orange pico, but you can use any black tea that you like, and just let that boil for a minute. We're going to take the tea and strain it into the milk mixture. This is strong tea, which is good because you need it with the milk. So once the tea is into the milk mixture, you just whisk them together, then you want to let it cook over very low heat just for one minute for the flavors to melt. There you have it, a nice steaming mug of masala chai.